Artemia is a genus of aquatic crustaceans also known as brine shrimp. Artemia is a branchiopod, the most primitive subclass of crustaceans. Branchiopods are very ancient animals. The first representatives appeared during the Cambrian explosion 500 million years ago. Brine shrimp is best known among aquarists who use it as an extremely nutritious live food for their aquarium fish. You can find live brine shrimp in a pet store, as well as breed them yourself. Both ready-made kits for growing brine shrimp and separate eggs are available in online stores. Artemia has also gained popularity in fish farms, because it is a cost-effective, easy-to-use, and available food that is preferred by the fish. Artemia larvae, also called Noplii, are more widely used in aquaculture, because they are easy for operation, rich in nutrients, and small, which makes them suitable for feeding fish and crustacean larvae live or after drying. However, brine shrimp are remarkable not only for this. It's hard to believe, but the pink color of their plumage flamingos are obliged to this tiny crustacean. Flamingos are born with gray plumage. They get their rosy hue pink by ingesting a type of organic pigment called a carotenoid from their main food source, brine shrimp, which feast on microscopic algae that naturally produce carotenoids. And how about one more fact? Scientists have taken the eggs of brine shrimp to outer space to test the impact of radiation on life. Brine shrimp cysts were flown on the U.S. Biosatellite 2, Apollo 16, and Apollo 17 missions, and on the Russian Bion 3, Bion 5, Photon 10, and Photon 11 flights. Some of the Russian flights carried European Space Agency experiments. On Apollo 16 and Apollo 17, the cysts traveled to the moon and back. Cosmic rays that passed through an egg would be detected on the photographic film in its container. Some eggs were kept on Earth as experimental controls as part of the tests. The benefits of brine shrimp for humans do not end there. In pollution research Artemia, the brine shrimp, has had extensive use as a test organism and in some circumstances as an acceptable alternative to the toxicity testing of mammals in the laboratory. The fact that millions of brine shrimp are so easily reared has been an important help in assessing the effects of a large number of environmental pollutants on the shrimps under well-controlled experimental conditions. In addition to animal husbandry, medicine, and space exploration, Artemia even finds its use as a human food. Direct consumption of brine shrimp by humans has been and continues to be practiced by indigenous tribes in the Americas and Africa. In case you want to please your guests with an experimental dish, I found the recipe of Artemia omelette on the internet and left it in the description under this video. Let's now find out what Artemia actually is, what its habitat is, its anatomy, and how it reproduces. Artemia populations are found worldwide in inland saltwater lakes, but not in oceans. Artemia are able to avoid cohabiting with most types of predators, such as fish, by their ability to live in waters of very high salinity, up to 25%. Measuring up to 15 mm in length, the body of the brine shrimp has a discrete head with a nauplius, or larval, eye and stocked compound eyes, a thorax bearing a series of leaf-like limbs, and a slender abdomen without appendages. Brine shrimp normally swim in an upside-down position by rhythmically beating their legs. Brine shrimp are passive filter feeders, this means that they do not select what goes into their mouth. They flap their 11 pairs of feathery legs to sweep the particles in the water backwards along the front of their body and filter their food out of the water. Wild brine shrimp eat microscopic planktonic algae. Cultured brine shrimp can also be fed particulate foods including yeast, wheat flour, soybean powder or egg yolk. Artemia have two types of eyes. They have two widely separated compound eyes mounted on flexible stalks. These compound eyes are the main optical sense organ in adult brine shrimps. The median eye, or the noplier eye, is situated anteriorly in the center of the head and is the only functional optical sense organ in the noplii, which is functional until the adult stage. Brine shrimps breathe through gills on their feet. The oxygen taken in is carried through the bloodstream. The heart pumps the blood around the body. Brine shrimp have a protein called hemoglobin in their blood. For brine shrimp, many functions, including swimming, digestion and reproduction are not controlled through the brain. Instead, local nervous system ganglia may control some regulation or synchronization of these functions. Adult Artemia can live in good conditions for several months and the female produces a new batch of eggs every five days. 
per batch or reproductive cycle from 50 to 200 cysts or nauplie are produced. Brine shrimp can reproduce sexually or parthenogenetically, where females do not mate with males and their offspring consist almost exclusively of females and, on rare occasions, males. Besides it Artemia can reproduce by two modes, involving either nauplius or cyst production, depending on the prevailing ecological conditions. Nauplius production occurs under favorable ambient conditions. Eggs produce free swimming larvae, called, nauplii, released by the mother. Under extremely critical environmental conditions, for example when seasonal lakes dry out, Artemia takes refuge by producing a highly resistant encysted gastrula embryo, called cyst, capable of severe dehydration enabling an escape from population extinction. In this mode, the embryos only develop up to the gastrula stage and become surrounded by a thick shell, called chorion, induced by hormonal secretions of the brown shell glands located in the uterus, thus forming what is referred to as a cyst. Cysts are arguably the most resistant of all animal life history forms to environmental stress and can be viewed as gene banks that store a genetic memory of historical population conditions. Inside cysts embryos are suspended at the gastrula stage of development. If environmental conditions are favorable, proper temperature, salinity, sunlight, and oxygen, the embryos inside resume development and begin to grow. The cyst continues to absorb water as the embryo inside grows. Within a day or two, the cyst bursts open, releasing the young brine shrimp still wrapped in its hatching membrane. In their first stage of development, Artemia do not feed but consume their own energy reserves stored in the cyst. The newly hatched Nauplius looks nothing like an adult brine shrimp. It is essentially a swimming head with a small and relatively undeveloped trunk. Juvenile brine shrimp look like small adults. The limbs on the trunk called thoracopods become fully functional, and they take over the jobs of feeding, swimming, and breathing. Male and female brine shrimp are easy to tell apart. Females are slightly larger than males, and their brood sacs are easily visible to the naked eye. Males do not have brood sacs, and they have large claspers sticking out of the tops of their heads. During mating, the male holds onto the female with his claspers. He fertilizes the female's eggs by depositing sperm into her. When environmental conditions are good, females produce active embryos that hatch while they are still inside the brood sac or soon after they are released. In stressful conditions females release cysts. 